Lord, thanks for this wonderful day. Thanks for the opportunity to allow us to be out here in your great creation, God, with our friends. God, I ask that you keep us safe today. And if it's in your will, we do want to do some birds. Most importantly, we do everything in your name. Amen. We headed east, not knowing necessarily what it was going to lead into after that, but we knew a huge cold front was coming from North Dakota, the biggest cold front of the year that we've had so far. A lot of snow in North Dakota, a lot of snow in Montana, and a good amount of snow in Canada added for everything to be right for this trip in Nebraska. We were right on that snow line. We were predicted to get one to two inches of snow, which is not much, and just about the perfect amount of snow to be able to push the birds and make the birds feed heavily, but not make them leave. So we are excited not only for the conditions, but being able to go out there and hunt on opening day. And it was above average. Opening day was extremely impressive just because the birds that we were able to work and the birds that we were able to decoy and the birds we were able to shoot. Shooting a bunch of ducks on opening day got us off to a hot start in Nebraska and there's no looking back after that. The second day of the season, October 29th, was just an above average hunt too as well. One that was specifically special for us and a, a cool place, a cool location and the scenery is just absolutely spectacular in the area that we hunt. get much better when you have gray ducks, mallards, and pintails doing it just how you want them to do it with the sun rising on the bluffs in the background. And It's a special place and we quickly learned that it was going to be above average hunting after two successful Go days up. of duck hunting and limited back to back days for birds. Decoys going out today. The sun's rising to our east. There's a bunch of lessers and snow geese, a handful of big candas in this field. But we're looking forward to shooting the lessers. This is our first goose hunt of the year. It's cold, six degrees. We're gonna put them tight and uh, I'll hopefully appeal to the lessers coming off the river this morning. So here we go. sheer number of geese that were in the area too as well allowed us to be able to find a place where we could get on and be able to kill a bunch of geese. Not only were we targeting canvas, but we knew we'd be targeting snow geese too as well. We had cold temperatures, temperatures in the single digits. A lot of the ponds, a lot of the sheet water around the area were freezing. It was pushing a lot of the birds to the river or pushing a lot of the birds to city ponds or ponds that were kept open by aerators. And it kind of congregated the birds in areas that allowed us to be able to not only traffic them but hunt them too really well and get under a lot of birds and that's exactly what we did. The cold temperatures on 
the first flock of snow geese came off from wherever they were roosting to the north of us on the morning of our goose hunt and there was no doubt in my mind when those things first cuffed up that they were going to be coming in. They started waffling at 150 yards out and it was first pass. They made one swing all the way out just to finish and get that wind right and as soon as they got that right, they came into the decoys to the back pedal and we were able to wipe those four snowbies out. Pick up a lot of things. 